Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get mysterious armor. This is the armor right here. And you actually get a set bonus for obtaining this armor as well. So you get max load, you get crit percent, 15%, you get crit damage increase. This is actually really good. Unfortunately, I don't think it really tops the um, the ape set. It would be very close. I'll have to get full legend or uh, legendary version to really test it out completely. But it's it's looking really good. It's really competitive towards the ape set. The ape set is really good. But this what the am I being attacked by something? What the heck is that? Very interesting. I wonder if you can get crit damage increase on everything, because then this set would absolutely be the best set. And I'm going to show you guys how to get the weapons as well. So what you're going to need is to have insanely good gear, lots of heals, lots of canisters. Um, you need a hammer and you need a uh, hammer or um, gauntlets. And you got to go to this dungeon right here. Now to get into this dungeon, you're going to need purple crystals, yellow crystals, green crystals, dungeon key. To get purple crystals, you farm uh, regular crystals, and it's a very rare chance to get a purple crystal. You can also go inside this dungeon right about here that leads to a super uber boss. If you defeat her, you'll get like five to six purple crystals, guaranteed. Uh, the, the amount may vary. I think the amount is RNG. But she also drops mysterious, uh, I think, weapons and armor at a low chance. But you're going to get the majority of your mysterious gear in this ancient dungeon. So to get those dungeon keys, you got to defeat the mechanical people at the fortresses. There are three main fortresses. One's right there, one's right here, and one's right here. So that's how you get all the stuff. Let me uh, run you through the dungeon real quick. Now the dungeon is randomized, so I can't just run you through the, like, go directly to the boss. It, it's very random, and you gotta look for the boss, you gotta get a key. And they actually changed this after the latest update. They made it a little harder, and I'll show you what I mean. And they, they enhance some things. Things are a little cleaner and stuff, and I'll show you what I mean. Alright, I am currently right here on the map. I'll show you real quick where you can get those guaranteed purple crystals and we're to fight the uber boss you go inside this place very difficult make sure you're very well prepared lots of heals lots of patience you want to lure out the two elites that guard her which is also very annoying i advise you guys to lure them out towards the end of the doorway and solo the elites and then take on the uber boss if you're having difficulty with that very fun fight <laughs> but anywho this is where we get into the dungeon you're gonna need uh green crystals dungeon key yellow crystals the purple crystals i was talking about and some mask energy which i'm gonna pop right now so let's go into this dungeon They made this a little harder, and they added more keys. Now for video sake, I am going to go into the invisible mode with my, my Shadow Walker mask. I have a video on this on how to get it. Check it out. This mask comes in handy, especially with this dungeon, because I do not want to deal with all these mechanical people. So I don't want to ruin or waste all my durability on my weapons and armor. So it is very random. So here's one of the, they changed the icons of these keys. So these keys, oh crap, whoops the daisies. Ah, throw some poop everywhere. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> it's a good thing this 
hammer does a lot of damage. Cause that was sketchy. Now you guys can see why I did not want to do this head on and use my mask. But I do drop Mysterious, which you can use to craft steel. I do drop a lot of this stuff too. I've, I've got so much of it. I stopped picking it up. So we got this key. And there are doors that you want to find to use this key. Here's another key. Now these keys are just like additional bonus treasure rooms. These are not the main keys that you want. You'll know when you find the main key because it'll be guarded by... It'll be in a big room and it'll be guarded by two smaller dudes. But it'll be a boss and like two smaller dudes. But I'll show you what that looks like pretty soon. So here's one of the, the treasure rooms. And you need one of those keys that I picked up to enter here. And this is where you can get mysterious gear as well. So here we go. We got the pants and we got the dual blades. Now... When you find these rooms, that'll kind of give you an indication that um, that you're not really close to the boss. So you'll have to start looking elsewhere. Usually wherever you find the key is basically where, um, where the room is kind of close by. Okay, so here's one of the keys. This is not the main room. But this is the one up, oh, see what I was talking about, how the keys are close, or the key and the door are pretty close by. I mean, they're not usually always that close by, but that was a great example, I guess. So, we got get some more. This time we got, for some reason they give you a lot of pants. Dope! You'll get a lot of metal parts, so a great place to get metal parts and precious parts, too. Like the step up version. These, I don't really open these anymore because I, I have a ton of this material, even gold obsidian from farming lots of obsidian. So I don't really open these anymore. But you can get um, the rare, some of the rare materials in there, and what I mean is this stuff right here. So sometimes you'll see rooms like this. You want to look for ladders. Kind of like look like this. Ooh, I better pop some of my. Uh, some energy bags. Bum, bum, bum. Here is one of the key areas. And more leggings. <laughs> uh. Okay, so here's the room I was talking about. This is going to have your main key that you need. So it's going to look like this every time. Now, they changed the key. It's ginormous now. It's glowing. It's got particle effects and everything. It looks pretty cool, actually. It looks pretty cool. But after you defeat the boss, this chest will always contain some pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. And then you got this common chest that I don't open this anymore. You might see me in the videos pass this up because it's always got like the same stuff in it. And it's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, there's a top level. Okay. Oh, here's what the door is gonna look like. It's gonna have this like little key symbol. Uh, it, it never used to look like this. Um, and then it has that little red thing in the middle. So this is gonna be the boss. Woo! Now, this guy, he's uh, he's got quite a lot of tricks up his sleeve. He's got pretty much a one-hit laser. And you'll see it charging up and stuff. Uh, he usually releases it after his arms fall. And they change his fight. His arms, when his arms fall, like around, I would say, 70% uh, of his health is still left. Uh, he will drop both of his big arms and they will both attack you. In that phase, you'll have to take on both of his arms and you gotta dodge him randomly if he stares at I think like if he stares at you long enough he'll shoot out like uh, laser beams like single laser beams but after you defeat his arms um, he is gonna do like a big giant laser beam and you gotta get behind him otherwise he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna poop on you all right let's just do the fight 
Let's do a flight. Okay, we got a dodge in. It's gonna be a big swipe. It's gonna be the pokey. It's gonna do a bunch of barrages right there. He likes to do that back kick quite a lot. Not a lot. Poke, poke. That's the big hammer move. I never get hit by that, but I don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> it's probably a one hit. gonna do a 360 attack with that. Yeah, who loves doing that? Oh, I totally forgot about that move. There's a slice. This is right about the time he's gonna start. His arms, big arms are gonna come down. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Oh, there's the laser beam. So this is a hard. I think this is probably the hardest part of the whole battle. So you gotta take on these guys. Oh, we got one arm down. It's a very tedious fight. Kind of got a. I think the hammer was probably the best for this. So, uh, so this is where he's gonna do his big laser. I don't know why he's not doing it. Probably because I was too close to him. But that's. I think he like did like a malfunction. Here. Sometimes he fakes you out. All you do this part is kind of easy. You just circle around. Oh, he might actually kill me with a big. <gasps> I thought he was going to do the big laser. Alright, I'm going to see if I can try and get him to do his big laser move. Ow, stop it, you turd. Oh, there it is. Big laser. Big laser. That's what it looks like. Whew. What do we get? Super stamina. Not the most exciting thing. I mean, stamina is... Uh, because we got a mask that gives you infinite stamina. I'll just pick up one anyways. Some health regen one. You know, I want to pick up all... I got the room. So when you kill him, you want to pick up these as well. Um, the arms that you kill drop stuff. Surge. The Moana Warrior. Okay, and there's also four chests on the side. Um, you already know how I feel about those by now. Don't forget your your uh, little manual script thing to get some extra tech points. Don't forget to open up the coffin. You will have a chance to get both masks, actually. You can get the Iron Blood or the Nature, because I got the Nature, like, last run or whatever. You'll get all this other juicy stuff. You'll get the Restricted Module. Um, and all this other juicy stuff in here. But, in the next chest is where you're going to get some mysterious gear. Sometimes it's going to be legendary, sometimes it's not. So, we got the ring, and we got the shield. Ooh! I gotta upgrade to my shield. Upgrade to my shield. Upgrade to my shield. Oh, I'm probably gonna fat walk it. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> and that is it, guys. That's how you get mysterious gear. And can't confirm that the stats are definitely randomized. So that is what's gonna make this set so good because you can get crit damage increase on it, which is absolutely huge. So if you, get, if you can get like a full set with crit damage increase on it, 
That would be insane. Now, this damage multi, um, like, um, prefix or suffix or whatever it is, this might only come on rings, amulet, and gloves, because it seems like attack mods like to roll on those three things. So, anywho, you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!